Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Crew Mode Part 67. Uh, we're almost at the one-third point of the season, because we got Richmond, and we got Charlotte, I think, and then maybe Dover? I, I, I don't know, but we have a, a full week off from the, the schedule there, but yeah, so we got Richmond. Uh, we do have the All-Star Race, but naturally we're not going to do that, so we'll be the Coke 600, and then... Oh boy, Dover. Now I guess that'll be our first big race to see what our car is capable of in terms of equipment. So there's that. So uh, we'll get right into Richmond. It should be a pretty easy W. So we'll just get this over with and try to move on as fast as we can through this uh, this race. And pole again, uh, 21.5. Probably going to get a couple tenths quicker with that. But boy, <laughs> half a second. Half a second quicker than second. Oh my good lord. Well, this will be an easy race for me. I get to just sit back and relax even more than I am right now. So, uh, car set up like usual, default. Uh, the wedge is up 1.5. We just lowered it to zero in qualifying just so we get that even zero because that's what I tried to do every race. So, I'm sure I'll probably make adjustments when I go down the road. But we just have to have a car length over Dale Jr. And then we should be pretty good throughout the rest of this. I just gotta show this part just to, just to show you. You know, it's. It's as easy as uh, projected. And, all right, we're good. So uh, I'll see you all in victory lane. Oh, God. This is not as easy as I thought. The car is extremely loose. Again, this is kind of the first race, too, with the three-star rating. So I'm sure it's going to be a little bit different. It was actually a lot harder at Bristol. So... Yeah, uh, we did actually gain time, but every time I go in the corner, the thing just wants to wreck. So yeah, that's uh, that's part of the uh, lead to a loose problem. But we're holding on right now, barely, which is scary because I'm sure we'll probably fall off the face of the earth as the tires wear on. Wow, I, I hit the outside wall for no good reason. Well, now my OCD is a little bit more better because now both the left and right rear end are damaged, so kind of balances out, so that actually kind of makes me happy again. Oh god, it's the second time Gore got I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gordon. Damn it. Well, now I have a lead again, but that's not the way I wanted to do it. I'm glad I'm pinning this lap. This thing is just so bad. A two-star car here last year was better than this. It's just pitiful. Hopefully this is a yeah, four tires and fuel, up the wedge, lower the tire pressures, and hope we can have a better second half, because that was ugly. Why? Why do we have issues this race? I thought this was going to be so easy, and it turned out to be the exact opposite, as we're going to have a terrible stop. Not even, not only we're not going to get our objective time, we are going to be getting an 18-3. Three. three seconds off our estimated time. Good God. Michael Walter, give me a little bit of room leaving pit road. Thank you. I don't think we're going to win this race. That was just a horrible everything. Oh my god! Michael Waltrip! Fuck off! God! What is Scott Wimmer doing? That was dumb. At least we're on lead lap. So I'm sure he's going to do what Scott Ricks did last year here. So at least we're sixth. And we are so far behind the leader. It's We're not going to win it. <laughs> that sucks. I just can't believe it. It just nothing went right this race. First half was shit, but then that pit stop was just like an amalgamation of just everything going wrong. Yeah, so we're fifth. Three seconds back. Yeah, we lost a lot of time. We should at the very least be maybe not leading, but maybe under like half a second back. Something like that. No, that, that picker, just, that just completely killed us. We get by a lap car of Reynolds. And the good thing is we are closing on Dale Jr. A lot, actually. It was like three and a half seconds. Now it's 1.9, so he's definitely getting held up in lap traffic for sure, which is great. We do have a lot of time to catch that up, and the car is handling pretty good, so it this may not be over yet. We still may be able to barely get the win, as long as they don't wreck the car doing that. I don't know what that was. We'll make the pass on Gordon for third, and I think Newman is second, or is it Labani? Or I'm kind of I'll, I'll be kind of shocked if it's Labani to be honest. In a, I don't know what scheme that is. It can't, it can't be the Incredible Hulk because that movie was from 03. 
Well, I guess it could be the old three paint scheme. So. All right, well, that answers my question. Now we just got to run down Dale Jr., which is, I think, possible. So there's Paul Menard. Um, he's, uh, in real life, just tired. And in real and in this game, he's being really dumb, but I'm recording this on the 18th. So that already dates this video by a lot. Because as of yesterday, as I'm recording it, he retired. To no fanfare, no, like, special paint scheme, nothing. It's just a very Paul Menard sort of race. It's very forgettable. Which is a very fitting for his career. With three laps to go, don't look now, we're catching Dale Jr. It's under half a second, and lap traffic continues to be a pain for poor Dale Jr. And we're there. I don't know what happened to poor Russell Jackson in the nine, but something went horribly wrong. And what is that with the car? I don't... God, that race was going so fucking well. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Oh my god, the wheel lockup. I hate this game, by the way. I just want to point that out for the probably the 85th time this season and this entire career mode. And the car actually put me in first gear for once, or a gear where I don't have to downshift as I start. With two laps to go, and this car sucks. Yep, we lost this race. I had a chance to win, and I fucking blew it. I, I don't know what's wrong with me in this part. I just, everything went wrong. And the car is so fucking stupid right now. I'm sorry, Gordon. I'm just being a complete fucking dickhead today. I don't know what's wrong with this car. It's just, well, obviously it's spun out. That's one thing. Well, bringing home third. I'm pissed. We could have easily gotten eight in a row. I don't know why that race was so much harder than it fucking needed to be, but whatever. We just gave up a win for no reason at all. Well, me and Dale Jr. led the most laps. That's cute. The other two might be from uh, Wimmer, I guess. Whatever, just move on to the next one. I'm hoping maybe the Coke 600 will be better, because now the season's been like... The races I've been good at, I haven't been at good at, but the races I have not been good at, I've been good at. So it's all... All, all fucking backwards. Well, uh, despite Dale Jr. getting the win that season, this year, it's uh, we didn't lose too much points, if at all. I mean, we did, but... Uh, Jeff Burns is still 10th in points, or in the top 10. Newman's still there, and Bobby Labonte's only 9 points out. Dale Jarrett's close, Kenseth as well, and Ray Parker, yeah, he still has a shot. So that's interesting. I did notice he got a top 10, I think, so that was cool. Now on to Charlotte, which, I mean, we haven't really done well in the Coke They're not, like, abysmal or god-awful, but definitely not, like, winning material. So we'll skip the, obviously we'll skip the All-Stars because I just want to get through the season as fast as we can. I'm, I'm almost positive we would have won anyways, but I don't feel like prolonging this, this season any more than I need to. Another poll, I don't even need to wait till I hit the line. I just know instinctually. Oh my, half a second again almost. Well, four tenths. Well, we'll try to do our best in the race and hopefully the, uh, the ass backwards season continues in this one as well. So that means we'll do good. Hey, Ty Sheets won again. Thank you. I, I wish we had stats for Ty Sheets, like, for his overall uh, career, because he's been good season by season, but I don't know what he's, you know, his totals are, unless I literally go back and check the entire uh, playthrough and figure it out myself, but that's a lot of work, and I don't know if that's game. this game is worth doing that. No, so I don't really know if I want to do all that shit. So, I don't know why I'm talking through here. This might be just two races in this episode, just because Richmond was dumb, and stuff happened, so a setup same as usual, just default. So we should be good for a couple laps early on. I just don't know how we'll be in the long run. Again, this is the longest race of the season. Usually, in this race, we usually do a lot worse than what we do in the fall. So that's just my assumption. Well, we get up to a pretty good lead, and we'll give it a couple laps and see how it kind of goes from there, and try to I don't know win it. I don't know. We'll, we'll certainly try. Well, like usual, the car has fallen off at the end of the run. Leaders don't have fall off, and everybody else has fall off, and the car is just doing that thing where it just kind of skates up the track a little bit. Even if I back up the corners, I can still feel it just do whatever the fuck that is. And once it do once the car starts doing that, it's like it's just impossible to do defend or run better. It's just you're just screwed. So I'm just gonna let Dale Jr. have it because I I can't even hold the bomb lane anymore. 
So at least we'll be paying the next two laps. So the car did last for quite a long ways in terms of the, the wear. So it's certainly a lot better than previous years, and our straightaway speed's still disgusting. But I know we're not going to make the corner, so I just backed off a little bit more. And just got to ride it out. And hopefully, don't lose too much ground, Junior. Hopefully, our picker do not have a like an 18 second stop like last week, because that that pissed me off still. Oh, Dale Jr. with an undercut. That may work for him. I don't know. And then I'm going to this lap. I'm just going to tighten this up and lower the you know, tire pressures like usual. And perfect. So, yeah, that's, that's our plan. And we just got to hope this uh, second half of the run's a lot better than the first. And we can kind of pull away from Dale Jr. if we can. All right. The pit crew get a 15 flat. And we stopped for, on pit road for a second for no good reason. And Austin Hamilton beat us out of pit road. Wow. Why? At least we cycle out in front of him, though, but barely. And don't look page. Okay. Now he's got to wait. Actually, Dale Jr. does have the lead, so that, that's kind of, that, that's a problem. All right, once everybody cycles through, Dale Jr. should be the leader, and we should be in second. And it's by about, well, about a second and a half, which I think we can close in on that, though, because the car is just, it's come alive. It's a rocket ship right now, so I'm sure we'll catch him. The only thing is I don't know how bad the fall is going to be this run. I'm hoping it's a little bit better so we can actually have a chance to get, you know, beat him. So, I don't, I don't know. We'll see. My God. This car is just disgusting like usual, but it's even more disgusting that we gain like a second and a half in what felt like three laps. We have the inside line. Now, the big thing is once we get the lead, we have to absolutely haul ass because Dale Jr. was able to catch us and, and pass us when my lead was, my lead was about a second big so it has to be a little bit larger than that just to have a chance so that's what we got to do right now we just got to absolutely just 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 haul balls okay good we made it to a second ahead of Dale Jr. now it needs to be a little bit more than that so I would like to try to get to a maximum of like a second and a half if I can just to have a comfortable lead because I know we're gonna fall off and I need that cushion so we're good but we need to be a little bit further ahead oh no it begins it begins. We're almost there with second and a half. We're, we're going to lose this race now. We're going to probably lose it by two tenths. Just guessing. I'm just, I don't know. Just have a bad feeling about it. Well, I did make it to a second and a half, so I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I keep, I keep flip-flopping on decisions. So. Point flags out, and our lead still continues to grow a little bit by bit. I, this season's going to be one of those weird ones where... It's all backwards. Tracks where I'm usually really good at, I struggled. I mean, Richmond, I should have easily won, and I had a lot of problems in here. Had a little bit of problems, but overall, the car was good enough to maintain the lead. In fact, we're still pulling away a little bit, so the adjustment certainly helped the car out a lot. And off turn four, usually this is the harder race of the two in the season, but we did it. <laughs> we conquered it. We Coke 600. Now, that's cute. Because we're drinking Coca-Cola right now. And my... Shirt is red. Well, isn't that a isn't that funny? We led 27 out of the 32. Dale Jr. led a couple, and then Newman led or Labonte led the other two, I think. So, uh, top 10. Gordon got sixth, and Russell Jackson in nine got 10. Steve Wall is 11th. Jeff Burton 12th. Austin Hamilton 14th, and Ray Parker who was kind of in a chase hunt. Started 37th, got 22nd. So, good rebound for him, but just way too far back. So. I'm sure Michael Walter will be pissed because he is technically our rival right now. So I'm sorry. But at least we got hero points. So I'm, I'm almost certain he's going to try to... Yeah, I, I knew it. I knew it. I'm sorry. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Michael Walter. I'm sorry that I'm going into turn three at Richmond. And I... Ah, whatever. Whatever. He's irrelevant in this game. Well, poor Ace. Michael Walter is going to have to still be salty because I'm not going to apologize. So, point standings, we're still good. We gained a little bit back on Dale Jr. Not much, because he finished second. Top 10. Uh, Ryan Newman now 10th. Jeff Burden, 7 points out and 11th. Kenseth is out by 21. Elliot Sadler is actually out by, like, 84 or 83. I don't know, some very big margin. Ray Parker as well. So, again, it could still change, because every race it seems like it's kind of flip-flopping, but... It would be kind of cool to see Jeff Byrne in there, just because he's never really that good in this game. But neither is uh, Rusty Wallace, but he's 7th. So I don't, I don't know. I have no clue. So. 
I guess that'll wrap it up this part. We've been undefeated in polls this season, and we continue our top 10 streak despite getting third at Richmond and being upset about it. So, I don't know. Maybe this will be it for this part. I don't know. I have to, I have to look in the editing stuff and see if it uh, gets to my 20-minute quota. Turns out I was wrong. I was not at the 20-minute quota, so we'll throw in another race, and I'm scared shitless because it's Dover and oh my good god. We all know how Dover has been treating us in this game. Pretty much since I've been in the Cup Series, because everywhere else has been good. The trucks and Xfinity with Bush, it's been good, so. I'm scared. Again, the season's been backwards, so I don't know. Also, I apologize for the, like, uh, sepia-toned color. That's what happens when I have the settings set for it to be nighttime, and then, like, for, like, for my room's dark, and then when it goes to, like, the lights being on, it changed it all up, and it looked really weird. And I should have fixed that before I went started recording, so that's on me, and I apologize. Now I actually look like not a Simpsons character, so let's get into qualifying, probably start first, and probably suck in the race. And another poll. That's, I don't know how many we've gotten this year, but it's over 10. 23-3, uh, barely got it, but again, at the factor in the second lap, we didn't even do that, and probably could have gotten a little bit quicker, so I don't know. Either way, I'm scared. Michael Waltrip has challenged me to a head-to-head -head race. That's a, pro oh my god. Well, he is my rival, so I wonder if that's a production. Oh, it is. Well, the timing of that's weird because he is my actual rival, and well, that's that's neat. Because I think in future NASCAR games that is a thing, but I think it's just pure coincidence in this instance. All right, well, that's something to note. Here we go. So, car setup like usual, default, all that's the same stuff. So, we're to go into this. Ray Parker is third. That's pretty cool. So maybe he can have a good run today. All right, and the game put us in uh, decent gears. So we got 32 laps. We do have an early lead. Again, we do have a lot better straightaway speed, so that should help us in the straightaways. Not so much the corners, I would imagine, but the straightaways, we should be good. So I'm going to really try to focus. Try to maintain lead as I absolutely botched turn three. But we kept the lead. Oh my god, this thing is uh, exponentially looser than I really want it to be. One lap, it's it's not going to stick like it should, and it's going to be bad. I mean, it's just it's just all going to go downhill sooner or later. I'm amazed I've lasted eight laps, and it finally has ended. This thing has just gotten... I was totally okay with it for a couple laps being loose, but then it just got too stupid loose, and now I'm just going to fall back. Yeah, it's just, oh, it's just, it's just, it just, oh, it just, it just sucks now. That was a save. Oh my god, I don't even know if I'm gonna even make it to pit cycles. This thing is just so bad. It's so, oh, it went from being so good for so long, and then it went to being bad so fast. Yep, it happened. Oh, god damn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That... Tough. I was not expecting that. I've just been kind of letting people go on the outside, and oh my god, Dale Jr. had a bad day. Oh my god. I just got up another concussion at Dover. Oh my... That was... Well, we're pitting. I don't know if we can make it on fuel. We probably can. But, my god. We're going to repair damage. We're going to freaking tighten it up. And do it. Um, well, we just won this race on stupid fuel strategy. That's not really the way I wanted to do it, but I just did. Good job, AI. Well, I guess that's our winning strategy at Dover from now on, is wreck at a very awkward time in the run. Therefore, everybody will have to pit, and then we can make it on fuel. I guess that's the, the, the call. I don't know why they didn't, because I, mean, I, I remember last season, I think, Hit on lap 13 and was barely able to make it to the end. So I thought the AIs for sure would have pitted there. Wow, that's a stack up. And well, never mind. Now we're not going to win because they all wanted to pit the very next lap and they. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Well, just like that, we're leading, but now we're definitely not going to win this race by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I know I could probably hold on for eight laps because that's what I did last time. Maybe a little bit longer because I have a bit better stuff in the car now. I made some adjustments, so maybe I can hold them off a little bit longer. 
So maybe a top 10 is still possible, but I don't think winning is going to be part of the cards in any, any sense of the imagination. Well, we pulled away. That's pretty cool. Still got a lot of laps, though. That's the only big concern. It's certainly driving way better than it did the first half. I, I just don't... I just know it's not going to work out. I just wanted to try to survive and get a top 10 if I can. To keep that streak alive, that's all I want at this point. I want to see if I can actually do a full season and get top 10s the whole year. We've been close in other series, but not not so much in cup. Well, Russell Jackson is finally cop to me, and there's a lot of cars behind him, too. Well, not directly behind him, but very close. Oh, my God, my... Anxiety, my stress. I hate this track on this game. I just, I absolutely despise it. There goes Jimmy for the race lead. I'm trying to get a good run off the corner. It kind of works, but nah, we're not going to hold it on. And we're going to glue together and die. Dale Jr., he pretty much died the same way Dale Jr. did. God almighty, man. It's just so fucking frustrating. And now Austin Hamilton's leading. Who? Well, there goes my top 10 streak. And my race, basically. Holy fuck, Dale Jarrett! Well, same shit, man. It gets so bad after a while. And the dog freaks out. Sterling Marlin. We got, like, three near flips in this race. And that was my folks. I was just trying to pinch it too much. And just... This has been a disaster race. I mean, it's typical Dover fashion. A fucking disaster. Just like my life. We're gonna pit because I know my car is gonna be fucked. And I just wanna just... I just wanna not be stressed. Is that okay, comment section? I'm just... I don't care about my top 10 anymore. I just want to be stress-free. So my race is pretty much out the window at this point. I really don't think I'm gonna get anywhere crazy in the uh, next couple laps here. And I just upshifted into third for no good reason. Oh, well, there's a lap wasted right there. Car is broken, but it still has a lot of speed left in it. So at least we're going to make up some spots here. I never really dealt with passing cars. I've been kind of up at the front most of the time. We're losing spots. I'm not used to actually making, you know, clean passes on anyone. But yeah, there goes our top 10 streak. It ends at Dover. And Ward Burden's blocking me off the track for, for, for 39, so I appreciate that. It's just frustrating. It's, this track just fucking sucks so much. I guess the only way that it'll be competitive or fun is, I don't know, if you have a four-star car or a perfect perfect five-star rated car, I guess. Wardberg, can you... It's so pointless. Why do I care? I just end this race. It's just so... It's just stupid shit. Well, we're going to get by Wardburn, I think. No, we're not. <laughs> of course. That was a... That was a throwaway race of sorts, and Austin Hamilton won. I, I, I can't believe it. I really can't. Austin Hamilton led five laps. We'll go through the results, and we did end up leading 20 laps. So we did get the most. Lost a lot of points, and our top 10 streak ends. Every, yeah, it just all went wrong that race. And now I'm going to have Riles for the next, like, month. Well, not after this race. Probably Michael Waltrip will still be pissed, but... Why am I... Why do I do that? Like, why do I always try to celebrate with drivers that I'm like, I'm pissed. Like, I, I gained villain points. And as I, after I congratulate him, Michael Waltrip is going to beat my ass. Wow. He's more mad this week than he was last week. He's, I don't know what happened. I guess he just thought about it more and he just, and he just got more mad by it. Uh, I really don't want to do the challenge, but I may as well. Sure, why not? Well, this is the last of the production card challenges, so we'll see if I can actually win. Again, I raced here many times before, but I've never really won. I wonder if Michael Waltrip will actually wreck me in this, because I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. Is he still mad at me? I want to try to see it. No, he's, a, he's an ally. That's interesting. How can he be nice for this, but then be so mad at me in the like, we, we just, like, he tried to beat my ass, like, basically two two races in a row. Why would I even want to do this, unless I want to just take his car? I, I don't know, I guess that, that could be, like, the reason. But he's beating me right now, and that is a, uh, that's a big problem. 
I think my brain almost memorized this. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just... <laughs> oh my <laughs> oh my god, that was that was like Ricky Bobby shit right there. It was damn near close to it. Well, I guess I won this challenge now because I flipped his ass over. Well, yeah, we pretty much won this easily. Walter closed in a little bit. But yeah, uh, we'll we'll finish off the <laughs> production car challenges. By I can't believe that that <laughs> he's gonna hate me even more now. I can't believe that happened. Please highlight reel. Please show this. I I need this for not only myself, but for the fans and also for thumbnail opportunities. And of course, it doesn't even show it. That is lame. Boo! Well, that'll do it for this part. I want to look at the points too, because I'm sure we lost a lot. And I'm just mad, frustrated do at Dover. Like, we did so well this part. Well, except for Richmond, but... We were doing good. For, okay, we were doing okay. We just needed to get to the pit cycle, and like it just gets so bad after a while. Like it just we have to back up the corners so much, and then there's cars on the outside, and there's cars trying to freaking finagle their way to the inside, and it's just like one little oh, just a disaster. Dawson Hamilton won. That was strange. Ray Parker's I guess for, uh, still 14th or gained a spot. I don't know. He's 104 points back, so I don't know. Russell Jackson, Austin Hamilton, 16th, 17th. Well, not in that order, but... Well, Michael Walter 20th, that's funny. I like how he's getting beat by imaginary people. <laughs> that's when you know it's not a good season when you're getting outran by people that don't exist. So, that's cute. But yeah, now we can finally wrap this part up. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, Adele Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazarin, Dave for Vendor Champ 15, Alan Gray, Robert Dillon, NASCAR Number Sync.org, Bailey Carrier, and Sean Hamill for donation again. I just want to say thank you so much for your continued support. Every single month like this does me a lot, and I don't know what my future will be with YouTube. I don't know what's going to happen in, in January. I'm kind of scared, so your guys' help means a lot. Maybe I should make a bit shoot account. That'll do it for me in this part. Uh, now we complete all the production cars, so I guess that's cool, but we kind of won it in a really dumb way. <laughs> but next part will be at Michigan. So I don't know how we'll do there. And we have Michigan... Infineon, then I think Chicagoland or Daytona. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, yeah, Daytona. So well, I guess those are the next three races if things go well. So that'll do it for me. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.